I need to get to the bottom of Nomad Unskew. So first I'm just gonna set up some shapes in different ways and combinations, and I'm gonna see what turns out to be a Nomad Unskew in Blender. So first we have a regular sphere and it's gonna be mirrored. So we have a cylinder. I'm gonna clone the cylinder. So two cylinders joined. So now we have two boxes. I'm going to validate. Let's validate, but uninstance. So let's add a torus. Let's make it chunky. Let's add a layer and we'll paint it. Let's do a cone. Let's voxel remesh them together at 250. Voxel remeshed cone. You can smooth it a little bit. I think that's everything. We'll use this and this is unvalidated. So let's take another torus. Oh, actually let's join it, but it's not connected, not touching. Okay, so let's send this over to Blender. Not, you, can, you mean to tell me nothing came over as Nomad unskewed? That's insane. Everything came over as just a clean mesh. So if I open Kawaii Pudge, the tube is unskewed and also the leaf is unskewed. Let's go back to Nomad and see if we can pinpoint what that is. I'm gonna hide everything else except for the tube and the leaf. It'd actually be a cute logo. It's the leaf. There's no layer, there's no nothing here. So I don't know, I mean, everything was a subsurface, so I don't think it's because it's a subsurface, but we'll put it to opaque. So I don't think there's anything specific to this shape. So you know what? Let's voxel remesh it. So we remeshed the leaf together and it's probably gonna be quite big now. So I'm just gonna decimate it. So I'll go to miscellaneous and decimate it just so it's small. That looks fine. So we have the same thing for this one. Let's just go ahead and voxel remesh it and see if that helps. Let's send them over and see if they're still Nomad unskews after we voxel remeshed them. All right, so I just imported the voxel remeshed ones and they are also unskews. So now I'm even more thoroughly confused. I'm gonna try different things with the export and I'm gonna just to try a few other things and see if anything works and I'll report back. Nothing seemed to help. So this is the only way that I figured out to get things out of this Nomad Unskew. Uh, of course, as everything with Blender, it's super, super complicated because nothing is ever just easy or simple in Blender. First, we just want to go to the leaf. And right now it is, you know, wherever we put it in space. Uh, let's see, Control A for apply and then like all transforms. So then I click this. So this changes the location. It's because you have the item here and you have like the location, the rotation, all that stuff. So I'm just resetting all of that to be wherever this is. So that's like the base. So for this one, you see how these numbers are like different, the rotation and stuff, all that. So I'm going to hit uh, control A, apply all transforms and you just apply it. So now they're both where they are and all these are like reset. So now the next thing I'll do is hit shift A and add an empty. I'll add a cube. It's a big cube. So I'll shrink it a little bit. I'm just going to redo it so that it's kind of in the middle. So I'm going to click on this snap cursor to selected wherever the cursor is. That's where the, and I'm going to change this to set origin to center of mass. That way it's in the middle and then snap cursor to selected. I know blender is like, I mean, anyway, so add empty cube, press S so I can scale it down. So now we have a, an empty. So let's take the swirl and then I'm going to shift and select the empty and then command P to set parent to cube transform and it shouldn't move at all. Now I'm going to do leaf shift, uh, select the empty command P cube transform doesn't move at all. So now we have an empty with both of those shapes under it. So we'll take both of these. Now the unskews we'll hit X to delete them. Nothing has changed. And now we just have an empty which we can go to the empty over here and just hit X. And then we have the leaf and the swirl together. It's not fun, but at least it works.
I might make this the um, the thumbnail. I, if anyone knows what causes Nomad Unskew or how that works, it bugs the heck out of me. So that's why I wanted to make this. That's the only way that I've learned to get rid of it was to use the empty. Hopefully that helps. Let me know. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you.